Hi guys, welcome to Number X. In this lecture, we are going to learn about collectively exhaustive and mutually exclusive events. So let us start. In the previous video, I have already explained about collectively exhaustive events. The link has been given in the description box. In this lecture, in addition to collectively exhaustive events, mutually exclusive events will be explained. Okay. Suppose E1, E2, E3 and so on up to En are n sets which belongs to set S. Here S is sample space. Okay. And if their unions is equal to sample space and intersection of E sub i and E sub j is equal to null set where i is not equal to j. What does it mean? If you pick any two sets out of n sets then they have to be pairwise disjoint sets. Okay, That means they must not have any elements common to each other. Okay, This is the meaning of this expression. Since this statement satisfies two conditions that is a collectively exhaustive and mutually exclusive. Hence it is called mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive events. Okay. Let us understand this concept by an example. Suppose a dice has been rolled. Then the sample space for rolling a die is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Suppose E1, E2, E3 are three events such that E1 is equal to getting a number less than 3. That means it will have two elements 1 and 2. E2 is an event of getting number greater than 2 but less than 5. Definitely it will have two elements that is 3 and 4. And last one is E3 is an event of getting number greater than 4. Of course it will have 5 and 6 as element. If we take union of E1, E2 and E3 we will get uh, all natural numbers running from 1 to 6 which indeed equal to our sample space. That means these events satisfy collectively exhaustive clause. Next, we have to verify whether they are mutually exclusive or not. Okay. Then we have to pick any two events out of these three events. Then we have to check that their intersection is null set or not. If we take intersection of E1 and E2, we can note here that there is no any common elements between E1 and E2. Hence, their intersection will be a null set. Similarly, intersection of E1 and E3 will have also null set because there is no common element between E1 and E3. Similarly, there is no common element between E2 and E3. Hence, their intersection is also a null set. So we have checked that all events of this sample space are pairwise disjoint set. So we can say that they are mutually exclusive events. By end of this, we have finished this lecture. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel number X and hit the like button. You can share this video to other person and provide your valuable feedback in the comment box. So thanks for watching and I am looking forward to see you in the next lecture.